Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowbell Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, an oracle, and a prophetess, you guys. So I use the cards to connect, but I don't need them. So welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome my loves. We are in the energy of your season. So happy birthday, you guys. Um, this season is so beautiful. So beautiful. Absolutely an emotional time. Um, a lot of stuff coming up as far as the emotions, the subconscious, you know, um, a lot of intuitive, uh, intuitive, uh, premonitions is what I'm getting. You're getting a lot of downloads, uh, all of that stuff. Okay. And, um, I feel like Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like all of your, um, like for those of you guys who have been, you know, single, this is going to be for those of you guys primarily who are single, okay, um, who have been single, <clears throat> your hard work is paying off, a new moon in Capricorn. So spirit is coming through and they're like, your hard work is paying off. Everything that you've been putting into yourself and into your life, into your manifestations, your all of it is paying off. New beginnings coming in, okay? Your commitment is being tested on the bottom of the deck. So this is about discernment. First quarter moon. And then it's time to take action. A new moon, so another new beginning. Okay, so right off the bat, this could be um, someone who... I'm hearing has been eyeing you. <laughs> they want some kind of new, they want like a beginning with you. Either a beginning, like you guys have never had a beginning, or a new beginning. Aries energy is here. Okay, so this would be like the emperor. This is someone who is stoic, but they're, you know, large and in charge when it comes to their life. Um, definitely... You guys are manifesting big things, okay? So you're going to manifest big energies into your life. So this is high-frequency masculines. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent. So something is growing. I just heard growing beyond measure. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so someone, you know, it's it could be you, Cancer, you know, afraid to be vulnerable. Um... bad experiences in the past, you know, not trusting people, not wanting to be open and vulnerable, you know, things like that. So um, stepping out of comfort zones is going to be necessary here with this. I feel like you guys are ready though. I feel like you guys are ready. And I feel like, you know, for a lot of you guys, uh, this is also, you know, this person, if they're a past person, this is them going, you know what, like, I'm not gonna let the past hold me back from from this. Okay. Um, there's this really strong I guess pool is what I'm getting. Hold on, guys, real quick. I need to grab my water. There we go. I just, it's hot. It's hot here today. It's like muggy outside too. It feels like tropical. But I get hot when I channel anyways. So let's get right into the tarot, okay? So Spirit, tell us, tell us about this energy. Um, I feel like this for most of you guys is someone from the past. Yeah, look, right as I say that, the six of pentacles shows up. So this is like someone here where it was not reciprocated. It was like not an equal give and take. There was balance that lacked, okay? We have the Capricorn energy showing up again with the king of pentacles. And I say Capricorn, it could be any earth sign, honestly. Um, but we have the very first card out in your reading was Cappy, so... So you could have strong Cappy in your own chart, or this person does, or they obviously just carry the energy of that, okay? Funny the colorings of these cards, like a lot of teal here and a lot of teal here. So this card, again, is a south note. Don't let your past hold you back. So it's showing here specifically that this is someone from the past that held on to their pentacle instead of giving it to you. Again, not an equal give and take. We see this actually coming up a lot in the collective, you guys, for, for a lot, you know. And you guys have really strong energies in your collective, especially when it comes to, you know, these soul connections and twin flames and all of that. It's this time of year. It's this time of year where your guys' zodiacs land for, for Cancer and Leo. That's what it is, you know. Eight of Pentacles. I just heard make a move. 
focusing in on you, focusing in on you. That's what I'm getting here. Someone is very focused on you at this time. I'm hearing inner compass. They're following their inner compass. Inner compass for me would be their, it, it would, for me, what I'm getting is that it's confirmation of a soul connection. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is showing up. So we have like some progression here, right? Coming from the Knight to the King energy. Definitely slow moving. Someone who's taken a lot of time. That would make sense with all the Earth energy, right? From the start. That's very slow moving. You know, it's very stubborn, slow moving energy, you guys. But there's been a tower moment here. Lightning has struck in this person's world, life, heart, whatever. Okay, but they've gone through a tower moment. A lot of change. Um, <clears throat> Six of Cups showing up. So it feels like this person has been in a tower moment over your memories. They've been in a tower moment over the nostalgia and love that they feel for you. They feel that this is a true soulmate connection. A horn just honked outside right when I said that. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it did. You might have to turn the volume way up and listen in, but this person just feels like they're going crazy inside. They truly do. They feel like, uh, I'm hearing worlds apart. Like you guys, you know, it, whether it's energetic, physical, whatever, they feel like so, um, detached from you, cancer. Where are we at? Six minutes and 36 seconds. Ooh, 636. I love it. Temperance. They want to bring balance and restore balance between you guys. That's what this is right from the get. This was not an equal. This was not a balanced, you know, general, generous giving energy. This is someone who took, um, probably from their past or in the past, whatever they had going on in their, in their life at the time, it took away from them giving to you or it blocked it or it was whatever it was. Doesn't really matter now, right? It's in the past, but we see here that they, for one, um, view you as a, and I'm hearing an angelic force in their life. Like you were some type of guiding light. This is also for me, like an earth angel. Okay. Someone who is a light worker or star seed, right? Um, this is Sagittarian energy. Okay. So, uh, I'm hearing turning up the heat. Okay. So the, they're turning up the heat here. Okay. There's the heat's getting turned up. Um, uh, but this is someone who definitely wants to bring healing to this and restore balance between you guys. You know, the six for me, it's, it's for one, it's a very powerful number for partnership. So if you're seeing like sixes, six, 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 um, that kind of stuff, it's really powerful. You guys. Also, we just, you know, we're in the six months, so it's very like time stampy. It's very like, this is now, this is current. And then as I say that, the Wheel of Fortune flips over. Okay, so 10. You could be seeing a lot of 10, 10, you guys, or 2, 2, 2. Um, I'm also getting that 7, 7, 7, okay? Um, so be sure you guys pay attention. Like when you receive these angel synchronicities that like actually like hit your intuition and, 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 and pull you in, that you kind of, you know, what were you thinking in that moment? What were you just thinking? Try to pull yourself back in and remember and definitely like look up that angel number or whatever it is. You know, it could be like 728. It could be, you know, 875. It could be, you know, anything, but you know, especially like the, the main angel numbers, um, because those are the, you know, the, the big universal ones that come through when, when a lot of stuff starts happening spiritually. And especially with these divine connections too. But anyways, um, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. So I don't know if you guys have watched that show, The Wheel of Time, but people have been telling me to watch it for a while. Okay, like a year. And um, I finally started watching it and my mind is just blown. And actually, this is the first reading. Okay, so happy birthday, loves. This is the first reading that I'm actually bringing it up because it's very, um, to me, it's very like symbolic of like things that are taking place in the world today. It's very symbolic of awakening and magic and, and mysticism, right? Um, though it's called the wheel of time, the wheel of fortune. That's what it is, the wheel of time. You'll often hear me say, um, if you've been here, then you know that, you know, 
I, this is the clock. This is the clock of the, of the, of the tarot. It's the, it's the pocket watch. And when the wheel stops moving, right, it's for a reason. And when it starts moving again, it's for a reason. Um, she's wearing dice around her neck. This is a, someone getting ready to roll the dice here. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing the wait is over. Someone has gained balance in their life, okay? And now that they've gained balance in their own life and self, they want to come in and restore balance and harmony with the two of you. I'm hearing recaptured romance. See, they, they were like juggling in the past and this is like for me, like going back and forth, juggling, not sure, and boom, putting you on the back burner. Could have been a third party where they were juggling two people. King of Wands is showing up. Two king energies. You could have two people, multiple people coming back from the past or just two people keeping an eye on you, one from the past and one new. Whatever this is, or this could just be the energy of the same person, but there's definitely an energy of passion and um, mystery and someone who wants to come in and take action towards you. Feels like this offer is finally arriving here, that pentacle. Um, and right behind the King of Wands, more fire energy, Leo, we have the sun, divine masculine showing up. This is freedom. This is happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck, bliss, contentment. I just got like a crazy like download ringing in my ear right now. And I looked up at the timestamp and the timestamp was 11 because right when I received it, you know, I heard my higher self go look at the timestamp. And it was 11.38, which is 11.11. Definitely some twin flame confirmation here. And then we have the infinity symbol showing up right after that. So for sure. Something's been up in the ethers and it's coming back down. You have double confirmation of the infinity symbol. Somebody missed their opportunity with you in the past. That's what this is. Okay. Regretted it ever since. Where's my romance angels? So if this is your message, my loves, be sure to claim it as yours. Um, tie your energy into the channel, you guys, by subscribing if you haven't done so already. Um, I will be posting the rest of the Zodiacs um, for the rest of June going into J the first part of July um, over the course of like the next like three days or so. Okay, you guys? All right, so we have all three of these coming out and then past life relationship on the bottom of the deck, okay? So a little what you don't see coming, P.S. from the universe, is that this past life love is coming. They're, they're coming back again, okay? Letting you know you've known each other before. So someone from the past in this lifetime or just a past life soulmate or twin flame. Right as I say that, confirmation shows up. So again, past life soulmate or twin flame, whatever it is, this is someone coming in for a new beginning and they're coming in with a changed heart and mind and everything. Feeling you mind, body, soul. They know that they showed you unrequited in the past. And like I said, some of them had to free themselves and really an, release an ex. Okay. That's definitely what kept them like from you in the past. I'm not going to extend this one, you guys, um, because I feel like this is pretty like it's, it's really strong energy, um, especially with like the Wheel of Fortune, the King showing up, um, the Sun, and just what I'm feeling overall. I feel, I just don't feel like we need to dig in. I don't feel like we need to dig in. I don't feel like we need to see like where this person is sitting. I feel like this is, this is, the, this is this. They're, they're, they've been in a tower over, over their memories and, and, and nostalgia and love for you. Okay. Um, spirit is showing up saying that, yeah, like this was not all like in your head or whatever, you know, it wasn't just, yeah, sure. It was probably a lot of lust and all that because of the connection. Um, you felt that passion for one another, but like, that's not all it was. And for some of you guys, sorry guys, I'm channeling. So my nose is itching. I'm getting really fidgety. Um, it, it like tripped you up. It tripped both of you up, I think the connection but spirit saying like this was about divine timing this was about divine timing so you know where where you guys are at in your lives now when this person comes in for the majority of you guys i can feel it you're you're in a receiving mode and you're ready to receive your counterpart 
okay? You want this. But for a small majority of you guys, you've moved on and this person has truly lost their, their, their chance and it is a missed opportunity. See, they missed their true happily ever after with their, with their soulmate. Their, their queen of fucking cups. Holy shit. I love it. But for those of you guys who are in receiving mode, either way, you're going to receive your good karma, your balance. It's going to be restored, okay? So, um, so, so that's what I have for you guys. Let me just, I want to grab a couple, just since I'm not like extending it, I just want to grab a couple messages. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, where's my... You know what? Here it is. I wanted to find my twin flame message. Mes mes twin flame separation message deck, okay? So for cancers, for the beautiful cancers... So if you guys do want to book a personal session with me, I am still taking personals. You can find the info below in the description box. Just send me an email. All the pricing is there. Um, please be sure, my loves, when you do send your email uh, for a request that you already know which reading you want and the pricing and all of it because all the information is there. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm really busy and it's, it, I don't have the time to like keep going back and, and responding and, you know, um, and what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh. And my Lemurian uh, crystal, my Lemurian seed clear quartz crystal pendants. They are handmade. They have the um, the barcoding and you know all of the um, ancient knowledge seated inside, left from the Lemurians from Lemuria. Um, some of you guys could resonate deeply with with mermaids and dolphins, whales, the ocean, Lemuria, Mu, right? Um, all the things, you know, your light worker star seeds. Um, basically what this does, you guys, it amplifies your spiritual gifts. It, um, it's like a battery pack for, for divinity. Okay. That's how I can describe it for me. Um, it's a, it's a battery pack for your soul, for your, for your divinity, for your magic, for your power. Um, and since I've been wearing mine, my gifts have gone like through the freaking roof. Now I do know that a lot of cosmic events are happening and it is Ascension time, right? But this started happening like when I started wearing it, you guys. I've connected to the Lemurians. They've actually visited me and have shown me really amazing things. Um, what else? Uh, it protects you while you sleep, you guys. It's really great to keep around children. Um, you know, hang above their bed, put in their pillowcase when they sleep. Um, it protects their 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 psychic energy and their you know their their oversoul while they sleep. Um, you know, with with all of the loving white light energies and, and the energies of Lemuria and all of that. Um, it's just all the things you guys, I'm, I think, I feel like I'm missing like a bajillion different things. It aligns, it, it, it connects with the crown chakra. Um, big time helps you connect you to the higher dimensions. It helps you connect to your spirit guides and your angels easier. Um, it's just a million different things. All right. So you guys can look it up and all of that, but I'm receiving a new batch that is like a really crazy clear diamond quality like this and the rainbow codes within them are just absolutely beautiful and intense and insane. They come from minerals of love. Um, I get all of my Lemurian seed uh, crystals and stuff from her um, down in Pasadena, California. So she's on Instagram. You guys can follow her there. If you guys do purchase from her, let her know that Erica sent you from Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Um, but she is, her stuff is like freaking like top, 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 top quality. So, um, I'm really excited to get these out you guys, because they, they help just awaken and help you through your ascension and they help integrate the lot body into the physical body, all the things you guys. So anyways, if you are interested down below, okay, the pricing, it's all there. Just send me an email and last but not least tarot lessons. See you guys, I'm really fidgety today. Someone is really anxious to talk to you. That's what it is. They're really like, like giddy or anxious or nervous. It's like that. Um, sorry guys. Um, a phone call. I just had to block. Um, tarot lessons. I offer tarot lessons. So 
If you are interested in picking up the tarot, learning the tarot, expanding your spiritual gifts, tapping into things, whatever it is, okay, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one private lessons live, okay? So it, it would be like this, okay? But we're I'm teaching you the tarot, all right? So um, the pricing, I've tried to keep as low as I can because, you know, with the lessons, if you're, you know, really wanting to learn, it's something that you would want to commit to, you know, maybe twice a month or whatever, um, and you know, however long you feel guided or whatever it is and however often you do it is up to you. Um, but anyways, all the options are down below my love. So let's get messages from your person. I like hate taking up time to like, you know, like say all that, but it's you guys, everything I do from just everything I do, it's always divinely guided and led. Okay. So the lessons are for you because I was led right to offer them. Um, these guys, same thing, <laughs> same thing. They're meant to get out there to the right people and be seated with the right people. And I, I love that so many of you guys have ordered them and are like pumped. You guys are like, yes. Oh, that's why I forgot. Like, duh. I forgot like the, the making it part. So it's made with a copper wiring, okay? Um, I, me and my mom, okay, my mom is helping me. She is a divine goddess being. Um, she's helping me create, you guys, because I'm really busy. I'm really busy, so I'm really blessed that I get to have my mom assisting me and making these. Um, but she, and she's like, my mom is a jewelry fanatic, so the way my mom is going to create is gonna be phenomenal. Um, anyways. So you guys will, you guys will see, but anyways, so we're going to be doing it together, but I will take them, um, after like they're all made, they are, the crystals are charged with like the solar energies, right? Like I, I cleanse with the sun and then I charge with the moon. Um, I infuse them. I'm going to be infusing them after they're all done. I will give them a final like cleanse and then I will sit each one before I put them into your packaging. I will infuse them with light language. Okay. Whatever needs to come in for you. Okay, to ignite your awakening, your spiritual gifts, to heal certain aspects of the soul, whatever it is that comes up from your higher self, your guides, your galactic ones, whatever. Okay, that's what's going to be infused into it. Um, and they also will be charged up with like with positivity mantras and angelic frequencies through some Shekinahs and, and people that I follow and, and trust, okay, wholeheartedly that are like divine beings, but also Lord Ganesh mantras, okay? But me personally will be infusing them with my light language. So anyways, I keep track of you afar by looking you up online. take my eyes off of you you be like heaven to touch i wanna hold you so much and i thank god you've arrived and i'm alive because da -da -da -da, you're too good to be true can't take my eyes off of you dun, 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 Right? I love you, Cancer. And if it's quite alright, I need you, Cancer. That's what this person is singing to themselves, you guys. I'm not a singer. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? Boom. There it is. There's the confirmation, my loves. Do you still want me? They're contacting you. I just heard to make it official. My heart keeps coming back to you, even though I know you've lost faith in me. So see, this is what, this is like they've been telling themselves, you know, it's an insecurity. It's a fear. But they, um, it's not stopping them. That, that's not going to stop him. Nope, 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 nope. Give me one more, please. So I thank you guys. And again, happy birthday, my loves. I'm so excited for Cancerian season. This is going to be a season of emotions flooding in, right? People listening to their intuition above all else. No more fear. Taking the leap. It's really, truly that. It's like, boom, game over. It's action time. From now through Lionsgate, end of, you know, 
end of August. I settled for second best. I don't deserve you. <gasps> Ooh, look. So some of you guys, like I said, there was third party. They just like stayed with someone else or they, they started, you know. Now I want to get one more again. Jeez. I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. Okay. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these kinds of things before, but I do now. See, when they say these kinds of things, they mean soulmates and twin flames and happily ever after and um, fairy tales and, and magic and all of that stuff. You know, you spark something beautiful within their soul. You guys spark something beautiful within each other, right? Because um, you've done a lot of like growth and, and glow up and healing and all this other stuff, right? So they are, they're really feeling this connection and they are coming in my love. So um, again, if you want to hone in on your own personal situationship, twin flame journey, whatever it is, my loves down below. I send you so much love, so much light. Namaste. Bye cancers.